Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential equation. We have 27 to the power x minus 3 to the power x divided by 9 to the power x minus 3 to the power x equals 82. And we're going to be solving for x values. I'll be presenting kind of like two approaches to this. Let's get started. So I'm going to use substitution, first of all. Notice that we have 3 to the x, 9 to the x, so those are powers of 3 to the power x and 27 to the power x as well. So it makes sense if we call this something. 3 to the power x equals y. And hopefully you know why. This implies 27 to the power x equals 3 to the power x cubed, because 27 is 3 cubed and that is y cubed. And 9 to the power x equals 3 to the power x squared because 3 squared is 9. And this is y squared. Now the reason why we have 9 to the x equals y squared is because this is the same thing as 3 to the second to the power x. So when you are using the power of a power property, in other words, you have something like a to the power b to the power c. It is the same thing as a to the power c to the power b. And when we have b to the power c as an exponent, obviously we write it without the parentheses, and this means a to the power, the quantity b to the power c. Okay, so let's go ahead and make all the replacements, and we're going to get the following. So let me repeat, oops, that's not the thing. Let me rewrite the original problem. And this is equal to 82, and we called 3 to the power x y. Now, 27 to the power x, remember, that was y cubed. 3 to the power x is y. 9 to the power x is y squared. And 3 to the power x is y again. And this is equal to 82. Now, there's a couple different ways you can approach this, obviously. But first of all, let's make sure we get rid of all the um, values of y that are problematic. Or, in other words, um, that make it undefined. So, you don't want y squared minus y to be 0. And you don't want this the product to be 0. So that means you don't want y to be 0 or you don't want y to be 1. So I can't have those values. Besides those, um, the, other values are the other values are fine, but we just have to solve this equation. Let's go ahead and cross multiply and get a cubic equation from here, which is easy to solve. y cubed minus y equals 82y squared minus 82y if you cross multiply. Let's put everything on the left-hand side. y cubed minus 82y squared minus 1y plus 82y. That's going to give us positive 81y equals 0. Now, even though this is a cubic equation, it's very easy to solve because you can factor it. y take out, you get y squared minus 82y plus 81 is equal to 0. Okay, so... This is the first approach, and notice that we get two factors. One of them is quadratic, and it's easy to solve. Again, I'll tell you uh, about the trick. But the first one, let's start with this one. This implies that y is equal to 0. But remember the caution. We said that, hey, y cannot equal 0. That makes the denominator 0, so that's not good. So we're going to throw that away and focus on the quadratic. Now, you can solve this quadratic with the quadratic formula. Obviously, you can just go ahead and write negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, so on and so forth, but that's not necessary. You know what? Let me tell you something. This is a special quadratic. If you look at the coefficients, and you should have noticed that, hopefully, this is 1, that is 81, 1 plus 81 is 82, and negative 82, when you add it, you get 0. So the sum of the coefficients of this quadratic equation is 0. And what does that tell you? We talked about this in many different videos. If the sum of the coefficients of a polynomial is 0, then 1 is always a solution. So in this case, you're basically getting that y equals 1 is a solution. You, couldn't you get that from here? Yes, but it's going to be a little painful if you do. And you could probably get away with writing the 81, uh, 82 squared as 81 plus 1 squared, expanding it, and anyways, that's not necessary at all. y equals 1, we know that. Let's find the other um, solution from here. How do you find 
the solution of a quadratic equation if you know one of the solutions. You can definitely use Vieta's formulas. And what does Vieta tell you? The French mathematician, right? He's a great mathematician, and he tells us that the product of the roots in a quadratic equation is equal to c over a, but a is 1, so c is 81, so the product needs to be 81. If one of the roots, which I'm going to call 1, is as y1, then the other one must be 81. So the solutions are 1 and 81, and we got the values. So y equals 1, or y equals 81. But what is y? y is, let's go back and back substitute. If you forgot, y is 3 to the power x. So let's set it equal to 3 to the power x. If 3 to the power x is equal to 1, then from here x is equal to 0. Yay! But no yay, because remember, x equals 0 is problematic and you don't want that. Where did that, that come from? Well, y equals 0 was excluded and y equals 0 was also excluded. So I'm sorry, but you can't do it. But if 3 to the power x is equal to 81, from here x is equal to 4, and that is a valid solution because it's not on the exclusion list. All right? So y equals 81 implies x equals 4, and that is our solution. Or you can use a second approach. Uh-oh. Notability does that to me sometimes. So I don't know why it does that, to be honest with you. Anyways, the second method or approach uses the following. So one more time, I'm going to rewrite the original problem so we can start fresh. This is our original equation. And we said, hey, let 3 to the power x be y. Or how about u? This time, let's call it a different variable because it's a different method, right? So this is u cubed minus u divided by u squared minus u is equal to 82. Remember, with our first method, we cross multiplied, we turned it into a cubic, we factored, it was easy to factor, so on and so forth. But this time we're going to do things differently because the numerator is factorable, the denominator is factorable. Cross out the u's, caution, u does not equal zero, you have to have that condition. But if u equals zero, then you're going to have a problem in the first place, so forget about it. u does not equal zero. You don't want that, okay? u does not equal zero. And under that condition, we get the following. Difference of two squares can be factored, yay, another yay. And now, this brings another implication. u minus 1 can be canceled as long as u does not equal 1. So far, we want u does not equal 0 and u does not equal 1. Isn't that familiar? You've seen that before, right? There you go. So under those conditions, we get a very simple equation from here. u plus 1 equals 82. And that implies, guess what? u equals 81. But what is u? u is 3 to the power x. So let's set this equal to 3 to the power x equals 81. And then this implies x equals. And this brings us to the end of this video. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.